waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel. But those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're still working on it. Have there been any obstruction arenas to your investigation? What do you think? Enough said. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name George Michael. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with a large nose check into? It was a room on the 12th floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the Nickel to let me know. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. I don't want to pick that up. Words do not do it justice. It looks better from this side. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? No, oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an Otterino coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. George Michael. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the 12th floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. 
But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's a door to the hotel ballroom and event space area. It's turned off. It's turned off. Look, looks fine to me. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. I'm not touching that. Nah, must be a better use for it. Who's the fairest of them all? What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? <clears throat> well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, you're on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay, everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. 